Yo, what's going on Empire Builders? One of you guys recently sent me this video of a fishing lure that was being pitched on Shark Tank asking me to actually review their site, see what they're doing right, see what they're doing wrong, and that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Now, before we get going, guys, as always, we do a giveaway here on the channel. Today's giveaway winner is gonna get our e-commerce empire starter pack course completely for free. All you gotta do to enter is drop a comment down below in today's video. Make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button, and most importantly, hit that notification bell so you can tune into the next video to see if you're that lucky winner, okay? Make sure you watch this whole video because we're gonna be announcing that giveaway winner. But guys, what we're talking about today is animated lure, right? They were recently featured on Shark Tank, and I actually got a couple messages from you guys, right? asking me, hey, review their site. We know you sell fishing lures. Like, what's going on? Let me go and give us some of your feedback on this. And that's what today's video is going to be about. So it's going to be a ton of fun. So make sure you watch this entire thing. All right, guys. So the company that we're talking about today is called Animated Lure. Now, they were recently featured on Shark Tank. And usually I love watching episodes of Shark Tank, guys. But I completely missed this one. I think this is like the new season that, that just came out or, or, or something. But when you guys send it over to me in my DMs, I recommend you guys do so at Peter Pro Official, at eCommerce Empire Builder. Shoot us DMs. Follow us on both those Instagram accounts. We do a bunch of giveaways there as well. But this was a fishing lure that, you know, was looking for funding. Now, we'll leave a link. You guys can go watch this whole pitch on, on the TV. But basically, Basically, it's like a robotic fishing lure. It has like very lifelike movements and, and all that stuff. Spoiler they, alert, uh, they ended up doing a deal with Kevin here. So uh, we're not gonna go into all the details of like what the deal was or anything like that. I wanna show you guys like kinda how I think and look at businesses and how they're marketing and then also like little things that I could take away from them. Now, here's the thing about Shark Tank products that you guys uh, might not know about. Even Kevin was, I follow him and you know, I, I remember listening to a podcast with him and he did say that a lot of Shark Tank ideas and products on Shark Tank wouldn't exist if they weren't on Shark Tank, right? They make all their sales and marketing. So the first thing I love to do when like a Shark Tank product actually catches my eye, no pun intended that this is a fishing product, is like go see what they're actually doing out there, right? Like what, how are they actually, you know, selling stuff? So the first thing I did with this one was I went over to the Facebook ad library tool that you're seeing right here. Now I typed in animated lure. If you guys just go to Google, type in Facebook ad library, this tool really just allows you to go find all the advertisements that a company is running specifically on Facebook. All right, so this is the fishing lure up here. Now, here's the thing, a lot of you, say, I see this all the time, you guys say, hey, I don't see any ads for a company I'm searching, is because by default, it clicks this, issues, elections, and politics. So you do wanna make sure that you click this all ads here. Now, when we click all ads here, we can see that they have one advertisement running. So this one started on November 6th right here. Um, copy, no real copy on this ad, it says as sheen on Shark Tank, and then it has a video. So let's actually take a look. So it looks like a bunch of some testimonials. So it's, this is a demonstration video ad. So these are very powerful, especially for warmer traffic. People already saw this on Shark Tank, what went on their site, showing them more information. So this is a demonstration video ad. This is something we really talked a lot about at Build Your Empire Live. So they go in and he throws it in there. So he caught a fish already uh, right here. So that's actually, you know, this ad, you know, okay, he caught a huge fish, that's awesome. But guys, this is the problem I see. You know, this isn't a bad ad, right? Because it shows the product, right? It shows the product and it shows the guy throwing it in the water, but it doesn't actually show the product. It just shows the result, which is fine. Even if you go out there and you only sell the result to your customer and say, hey, you're just gonna catch bigger fish, right? You're, you're gonna catch bigger fish like th this guy is. Um, even though he's fishing on a pond, I digress. Catching fish at a pond is so much easier uh, because they're usually stocked with massive fish like this. You can see his little bond he's at. Um, so I digress, but now they don't show the actual animation of the lure till right here. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to mute this as well. So you can see it's very lifelike looking, right? That looks really, really cool. Very enticing for a fish to catch it. So it has that differentiating factor. A lot of fishing lures don't have this super lifelike a look to it, right? And then they have the CTA always down here, which is powerful to have that animatedlure.com. Okay, now, not a, not bad. I mean, they, they hit on showing the result. They give a little bit of a demonstration there at the end, you know, but it's the only ad that they're running right now on Facebook, which is kind of weird, but it is what it is. So, and then this is just the as seen on Shark Tank, right? So this is the thing, right? Let's click in to see where, where they're actually sending us here. So when we click their advertisement, 
It sends us to, it looks like some sort of, is this Shopify? It kind of looks like a Shopify. So a very basic, basic website. This might be a WooCommerce store or something. Um, so this is just a very, it sends us to basically their shop, right? Now, here's the issue with stuff like this, guys, is like they have a couple different variations here, right? Those of you that are on here already, you, you that follow on the e-commerce empire builders, you know when you run Facebook ad traffic or any sort of cold traffic, right? Just send them to what you want them to buy, right? Like why, you just demonstrated this fishing lure on the advertisement, why are you sending Sending me here, right? Why are you sending me here? Now I have to decide, do I want the mini? Do I want the classic? Do I want the saltwater? Do I want the premium classic or premium mini, right? So here's the thing, when you run advertisements, it's very important to make sure that you drive traffic to, of the product that you're demonstrating, right? You, it's, it, you have to, right? Because we live in a distracted world and we just wanna to be told what's the best, right? At the end of the day, when somebody sees this advertisement right here, what do they want, guys, right? They wanna catch a massive fish like this guy just did, right? And they want to be to they want to be told what did this guy use? What did he use to get that result? Right? Because that's what I want to buy. Right? So they're coming in on this CTA and clicking here, or, you know, with that result in their mind. They're like, I want to buy this. This is the result I want. I want to catch this massive fish. So just send them to the this is probably the classic, I'm assuming that that, that was here. Just send them right to there. Okay. Now we're not gonna even just talk about the funnels, but like look at this. Now when I click in here, look at all these variations. Now I'm not saying that there isn't a time and place for every variation of fishing go. Absolutely there is. But again, there's an 80-20 rule. I can tell you, I can tell you being somebody that fishes often, right? 90, I would say 90% of their sales are probably coming from this shad one right here, right? Shad one and maybe the, uh, you know, the bluegill, right? But a lot of these other ones, you know, these are like okay, right? They're not bad. They're gonna be more uh, to specific situations that somebody is not saying that they're not making sales here, but it's the 80-20 rule. 80% of your, their sales, like if they're watching this, right? Um, if 80% of their sales or even 80% of your business is gonna come from 20% of your products, right? So I can almost guarantee you that 80% of their sales are coming from just, you know, two or two or three of these products. So that's a thing. With an ad like this, this is an ad that you can easily create different variations of, right? And show different demonstrations with the different versions of it. And then you could set up separate product pages for each one. You don't want to send somebody to a page like this where now they have, you know, a ton of different variations to choose from, right? Here's the thing, guys. Every time you make somebody do an extra click, Every time you make them do any sort of extra action, that is a funnel. That is a place where they can drop off and leave your website, you know, and you don't want, you want to have minimize those, right? So right here from here, what we can see is we already clicked this advertisement, right? That's one click. Then we had to click uh, the classic, that's second click. Now we have to click the third click. And now I'm like, well, which one was the guy using? Which one was this guy using? Look, which one should I be using here to catch big fish? Because that's what people want. They just want to be told which one's the best, which one's going to get me the result. Like, And I fell victim as too, guys. Right? We all think that people want all these options. We don't, right? Humans just want to be told, hey, you want the result? Buy this. That's it. Like, think about it in your own business. Like, Or if you're getting started, right? Think about it. You are selling a result. Right? You are not selling a product, right? You are in the, in the result business, whatever that might be. In this case, right, it's catching a big bass, right? So just tell the people, hey, this one is the best one to catch a big bass, right? So for example, this is the, looks like the one that he was using in the video anyway. So if they're gonna be doing this, right, what they should do, and look at this, this is now my third, fourth click, clicking add to cart, right? So if they're doing this, they should at least be sending it right to this product page as opposed to making me, you know, jump through hoops to get to the product that they advertise, right? And this is so important because this is why a lot of people get a lot of traffic to their websites. They're not getting at the cards or worse yet, they're getting a lot to add to cards, but no buyers, right? It's for reasons like this because you're making your customers uh, jump through hoops. Listen, one of the big reasons that a lot of people fail in business and advertising in general is because you make it too complicated for people to buy stuff from you, right? And that's a fact, right? Don't make it complicated for people to buy from you, okay? If you can set it up in a way where within two clicks you're getting credit card information, do it. It will get more people viewing the actual place where they have to put in their credit card information and therefore will give you higher conversion rates as opposed to making them click add, click, uh, you know, the variation that they want, click the actual, you know, sub variation, then clicking add to cart here, right? And then going to the cart page Like, look at this thing now. Now I got to go to view cart, right? There's like, look how many buttons I got to click just to buy this thing. Now I have to, you know, click proceed to check out and all that stuff, right? Like it, it's unnecessary, right? It's unnecessary. Now there is a time and place for all this, right? Because it's important to have like a, you 
know, a store, like a storefront like this. So this is their main storefront here, right? It looks cool, right? But these kind of storefronts, guys, especially if you're doing like Shopify drop shipping or anything like that right now, really the purpose of these kind of storefronts is really just for a place for your customers, right? To come back to and buy it again, right? I mean, they should still go through a funnel anyway, but it's fine, I digress. They could still just come here and purchase your product, right? So this is their storefront. There really is no, you know, nothing going on here on the homepage. It's just a shop now button with their socials on the left. So they have a very simple website, which I like, very simple. You can see home, our story, shop, videos, and customer service. Right, so that's kind of you know I you know I applaud them for that, right? Even when you do a Shopify store, you want to keep it as simple as possible, and and they do. They have a they have a very very simple you know website here um, that they're driving their advertisements to. I just think they would get a lot better results if they were sending this directly to the product page, or better yet, right to an or to a funnel, right? Using a sales funnel, they could easily what they could do this one right here. Let's go back to this variation as their front end, right? So they're running an advertisement like this now instead of sending them to a bunch of variations like they're doing. Right right now, which is just confusing people because they don't know which one to buy. What they can do instead is be like, hey, you know, send a sales funnel where they can collect the emails and then be like, hey, this is the one from that video. This is the this is the offer. Don't even show the variation. You don't even need to show the variation because no one's going to ask, right? Because they're like, hey, I just saw this ad. This is the product that got that result. They're just going to want the best one, right? This is why restaurants always give little stars next to their best selling items because 80% of their sales come from the, the best sellers, right? So, all right, guys, I hope you're enjoying today's video so far. We're going to quick flash our last giveaway winner right there. That is you email Peter at e-commerce empire builders to claim your free prize. And don't forget, drop a comment down below in today's video and you will have your chance to win our e-commerce empire starter pack course. Make sure most importantly, you have that notification bell on and hit that subscribe button. So you can tune into that next video to see if you won that free course. From the ad, they can click right over to a sales funnel where it's highlighting the benefits of this one product, okay? Now, after that, right, then they can upsell the variations to their customer. So, for example, let's say they just bought this shed. Well, okay, well, let's sell them the bluegill upsell one. Be like, hey, you know what? When it's, you know, you know XYZ temperature outside and the, the water's, you know, a real murky, right? It's better to use the, you know, this bluegill variation or this perch variation, right? Or depend, you know, th that way, right? Now you're planting the seed, right? When you're trying to plant all those seeds, right away with the buyer, right? They're going to have too many questions about the product, right? So if you just give them the best one, the most popular one to start and then upsell your variation or add them to uh, order bumps, that would that's going to increase the amount of money somebody spends with you drastically, right? That's called the average car value, the amount of money somebody spends with you after they purchase the product from you. Okay, so important, important thing to grasp. Now, another thing that I realized that they don't really have here is any sort of subscription offer, right? Like fishing lures are so easy because people always want new stuff. So imagine like, you know, offering us some sort of subscription where on a monthly basis, you're gonna get one new one of these for 25 bucks instead of paying 33, you're gonna get it for 25 bucks and every single month we're gonna be sending you a, a different variation, right? And you're gonna only get it for 25 bucks, right? Never be without your animated lure, right? Every single month, you're gonna get a new variation that you can store in your tackle box, right? Just give them a better deal. That's the easiest way to do it. You don't even need to put anything else in it, right? So, so simple, so easy, right? So that that's another thing that they can put into the upsell sequence, their sales funnel, right? Now, again, their, their site isn't bad. I do like their site because it is kept simple. It's just very difficult to show the benefits of this product, right? So even when I come here, right? Like, look at this, guys. This is why a lot of Shark Tank products fail. And I'm not saying that this product will fail, but um, here's the issue with this. And, and this is really, you know, a, a big issue is, you know, what if, if somebody never watched that Shark Tank episode, and they came to this site, like they're probably they're not gonna buy because where's where's like the benefits here, right? Like where you know where's the like look like, okay they have some pictures which could be a lot better. I mean this is not hard to get better pictures of this. I mean these are not good pictures at all, right? Like you can go hire a photographer for a day and just you know give them a thousand two thousand bucks and they can take amazing product photography for you. Um even uh, you know by the rocks by the lake like what kind of lifestyle photos? It's just a plain Jane white background, grayish background, boring, right? No emotional response. Where are the testimonials? Where are the reviews of this product, right? Like, and this is what I'm saying, like, and, and I'm not saying this in a bad way, like, of course, they probably, you know, made seven figures already just from being on Shark Tank. But like, remember, like, that's very, that can be short lived, right? So if you're looking at this, like, as, a, as somebody that's getting started in business, like, and you set up your product page like this, you're not, you're not going to be successful at all, right? The reason that they're making sales right now is because people are coming from that Shark Tank episode and then purchasing the product. 
But if you're trying to do this from as a brand new brand, as a brand new business owner, all that, right? Like you can't do this, right? You need to show testimonials. You need to show reviews. You need to show lifestyle images. You need to show result photography. Like where are the fish here, right? You can easily add in a couple more images, add some actual text here. Like what is this? Like this is it, right? Like there's really n n nothing here. And like, this is why a funnel is so effective because with a funnel, it forces you to highlight all the amazing benefits that this product has. So if I was building a funnel for this, I'm gonna get new for a photography done. I want results, right? I want people holding fish with the bait in their mouth. I'm gonna put copy together that clearly shows the benefits of this product, not just two sentences like this. Like, what is this, right? This skin is designed and inspired by Gizzard Chat. What does that mean to a normal person, right? They don't know what that means. Even a, a new fisherman probably doesn't really know that, right? Show them where this is the best lure to use, right? This lure is perfect when it's sunny outside, when the water is clear, right? In ponds, lakes, you know, oceans, whatever, right? Like you need to clearly show the benefits, right? Of course, uh, sprinkle in the features, like, like, hey, it's, you know, five inches in size, right? Like, of course, sprinkle those in, but you show more benefit. Like where, I don't see anything here, right? There's there's no benefits and the, the, the product photography is just, is just not, not good, right? And that's huge, man. Like I'm telling you, like pro good product photography can make or break a product. We can go down the rabbit hole of talking about like what's the actual offer here. But again, it's just a cool product. It's a this is a product that I categorize and just gotta have it, right? You know, and, and those of you that follow have been following the e-commerce empire builders for a while, you know, my criteria for good products and offers is how does it save time? How does it save money? Or does it have that just gotta have it appeal? If it can hit all three, fantastic, right? This product right here, it doesn't really save any time. It's not really saving any money from what I'm seeing. And uh, the main one is, you know, it just got to have it, right? It just, oh, I just got to have it. It's a cool product, right? Now you can position it. How does it save time? How does it save money? And all those things, right? But, you know, with, with a product like this, you really need to show more testimonials because, again, if you're trying to scale just by, you know, just uh, a one episode on um, Shark Tank, it's not going to be easy to do. It's not going to be easy to do, okay? So I'm enough of me bashing on this store because, guys, I'm, I'm not taking this as bad. I'm, I'm doing this because I want you guys that follow here on the e-commerce empire builders to take little nuggets here and implement them into your own business new or existing okay so don't take this as me like bashing them no this is an awesome product it's just like it needs to be it needs to be marketed better there's no marketing here it's just a you know a plain jane store with nothing cool about nothing unique there's nothing uh you know on this site at all let's see well, let's see what they put under their story um here as well okay so why why you stop it why isn't the shark tank <laughs> photo here right like, I don't get it, guys. Like, you know, it looks like they were on Kickstarter, awesome. Um, they have so much social proof, they're just not showing it well. I don't know why, I don't know who's building their sites, guys. I, I, I feel bad, right? This is like, there's a lot that can be done here to really blow up the sales for this company. And, you know, I just think maybe the, their tech person, their person that's building out their websites and, you know, running their ads just isn't a marketer or it's somebody at their company that's just wearing multiple hats and not doing it effectively. I'm again, I'm not knocking anybody that works there or anything like that. I'm just saying, you know, you, you gotta you gotta get people that are actually all in on this. So let's kind of, I'm done with their Shopify store, guys, or whatever this is, WooCommerce. I'm done with it because there's really not much here for, for else for me to talk about. So here's what else I do with these businesses when I'm reviewing them, right? I want to find what are, and this is going to be a huge factor to their success. And it is their social proof that they have on social media, right? So if you go to YouTube and literally just type in animated lore, there are so many videos about this animated lore, right? This one has 95,000 views, 40,000 views, obviously the one from Shark Tank, 74K, right? 10K, right? So there's a lot of videos out here about this product, right? There's a lot of video. Look at all these videos, right? And it's probably a lot of positive stuff, right? Now, all of these people are just pushing back to get people to buy stuff, right? Here's another one, 84K, right? So there's a lot of products here that, that are a lot of review videos about this specific product here, which is important to have. Same thing with their Instagram and social media, right? They have a ton of stuff here. So let's have it over to their animated lore Instagram and see what they're doing. Actually, we can find all their socials right from their homepage because they, they link them out. So let's take a look what they're doing on social media because when you're at this level, I really hope you're putting out content, right? Like a lot of content, um, especially in the fishing. 3,000 followers, what? Guys, I'm so disappointed. I wanna buy this company and just like blow it up because this is like, this is sad. Do you understand? Guys, it is so easy to get likes in the fishing niche, right? Because it's like, just show the, look, wait, Wow, look at this. And I'm not, again, I'm not bashing. I'm literally trying to be as helpful as I possibly can, guys, because we, I've done a lot of businesses in fishing, right? Wh look at all these posts. Where are the fish? There's not one post on here showing people catching fish with it. 
that's a problem, right? That's a huge problem. And that's what people want to see on social media, right? Especially in the fishing niche where there's a ton of influencers in this niche. There's a ton of products and companies. There's so much in the fishing niche. If you're not in it, you, you wouldn't even believe how massive this industry is. And for, and it's, there's massive accounts, right? Like they should be posting, you know, you know, funny kind of meme style photos. Um, they should be uh, showing customer, uh, you know, testimonials, showing people catching, you know, throwing in, catching fish, all right, and then showing a little mix of product photography in here as well. But like, when is the last time? I, this is like, I'm not logged in, but dude, like, what is this? What is this photo, right? And these photos could be so much better. Oh my gosh! Like, if they're watching this, hire us. Hire the e-commerce empire builders. We're gonna help you. We'll take care of all your social media. We'll build your funnels. We'll run your ads for you. We'll handle everything for you. If you know these people, tell them to hit us up because like this is a shame, right? This is an absolute shame because I think they have so much potential, so much social proof. I mean, the thing is, like, don't settle on that Shark Tank traffic, right? Like, because it's gonna, it's there. And it's awesome right now. I know these guys are blowing up right now and feeling on top of the world because are probably doing seven figures in a week, right? But that's not going to be forever, right? So you need to take this, what you're getting right now. You're take, you got so much traffic coming to your site right now, right? You have to know what to, are, like, I don't know. Look, I'm going to leave this site today, guys, and they will never talk, contact me again unless they have proper retargeting ads in place. But they didn't capture my email address. They didn't, they didn't try to incentivize me to opt into something. They, nothing, right? They didn't incentivize me to uh, follow them on Instagram or, or any social media. And I'm not saying this, I'm saying this in, in a way because this is the way we're going. We have, especially with online business, you need to be omnipresent. They need to see you everywhere. And you need to be putting massive efforts into all these different platforms, right? And it is a lot, right? But it's, it, you got to do it, right? It's business. At the end of the day, this is what you got to do if you want to run a successful business, right? So here, there's social media. Absolutely. Man, Ali, Ali's probably watching this right now, right? And um, is like, oh man, like what we would do, what we would do to these social media platforms for, for these people um, as if they were a client of ours. So heading over to their YouTube, let's see, 796. Uh, 796 subscribers. Look at this. This is what I don't understand. Why don't people, when they see something's working, why don't people keep doing it more of? I, I, it, I, it baffles me. It, it really does because I see this all the time. Like something's working for your business and then you stop doing it. And what do I mean when I say that? Look at this, right? This video posted 11 months ago, 26K views. Not a single video has been uploaded since. Why? 26,000 people have came and watched this video. Why wouldn't you continue to put out more videos, right? Even this one, 2,000 views, 11,000 views. Now this isn't millions of views, but that's a lot, right? Even if you get 1% conversion, even if you get a half a percent of conversion, I mean, dude, it's a it's a minute video. This, one, this one's three seconds long. How long are these taking for you to edit and put online, right? None of these videos are even longer than like, Two minutes, they're all like a minute long and these are so easy to put together and this is now lives there out there on social media for you to continue to drive traffic and sales for you for free, all organically, right? And again, a lot of people are coming here now, right? To their social media and this is what they see. This is what they see and I'm not saying that they're not gonna go buy your product, but like now look, if I came from Shark Tank, like cold traffic, right? I go to their site and I'm like, oh, okay, I buy one. Now I'm gonna be like, oh man, I'm excited. I'm excited about my product. I can't wait to get it. I'm let me go search these guys on social media. I wanna follow them on Instagram. This is what customers do. I'm not making this up, right? People go and buy products from people and then they go follow you on all your social media because it's, it's, they're excited. They wanna be part of the, the family, right? Just like you guys. Some of you guys probably bought like some of our products or course or starter pack or something and you follow us on all our social media platforms to kind of engage with us, right? And that's what you need to do. And now guess what? When somebody just bought their product from you, went to your Instagram and they're like, what? They, they, the last time they posted is like a month ago. Um, now I head over to their YouTube. They haven't posted here in, in, in a year. Why am I going to follow? That's it. I mean, what else can I say about this guys? I don't know what else to say. I'm not, again, not trying to be a total hater here. I absolutely think this business is blowing up right now. I think even if they don't listen to anything that, you know, I mentioned here today, they're still going to be successful guys, but it's about how, how successful do you want to be? And honestly, being, having that omnipresent marketing strategy is absolutely key in today's day and age. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video uh, just as much as I enjoyed shooting. I hope you guys enjoyed actually watching. If you do, if you did, let me know. Hit that like button. Also, drop me a comment down below, guys. I would love to hear other businesses that you're seeing online that you would love to see kind of like the ins and outs of. I love doing these videos, and I know you guys absolutely love them as well. So drop those uh, uh, comments down below of some companies you want to see the inside of. And also, that'll get you entered into win our e-commerce empire starter pack course completely for free. And 
And guys, down below in the description of today's video, that very first link, that's our e-commerce empire seven figure masterclass. This masterclass is about an hour and a half long training where I show you how to find winning products, how to build a funnel around those products, and actually how to start driving traffic and sales to that funnel. And at the end, I give you a fully built website template that you can actually start using for your business, your new or existing e-commerce dropshipping business. Again, that'll be the first link in the description. Make sure you go check that out, especially if you're just getting started or you're struggling to kind of get your business off the ground. That'll be the very first link. But guys, as always, have a fantastic rest of your day. And remember, your empire starts now.